Hello, I'm Donna Vopel. And I'm Bob Puhak. And we're here to share some exciting information about a new event called Paint the Town, which will be taking place in Cranford, New Jersey. Bob, when will that be taking place? That's Thursday, June 10th through Sunday, June 13th. This event is sponsored by the Downtown Management Corporation and the Cranford Chamber of Commerce and the Jersey Central Art Studio. Bob, tell us a little bit about the JCAS. I know you're a member of the board. Sure, Don, I'd be happy to. The Jersey Central Art Studios, otherwise known as JCAS, is a group of artists and residents dedicated to raising the awareness of arts and the artistic process in the community. They also integrate the arts into the community through education, economic development, and events such as this. This new event that you're planning, uh, Le Plein Air or Plain Air, I'm not exactly sure how to, to say it, uh, is, is new to this region. So tell us a little bit about that, Bob. Sure, a lot of people have been asking what is Plain Air? Technically, the term is en plein air, and it means literally in open air. But what it translates to, Donna, really, is artists painting outdoors or working outdoors. Or you know what, Cranford was an obvious pick to, to the board of JCAS. It was something we're excited about because Cranford directly lends itself to the plein air movement. We have lush parks, we have a meandering river that winds through town. We have a traditional downtown uh, with some you know, great architecture there. And as far as architecture goes, we have you know, a wide of range of beautiful vintage Victorian homes and other vintage architecture. Yes, Cranford really does offer uh, quite a bit. Uh, you had mentioned that the event will be taking place over four days. Let's just talk a little bit about some of the highlights of what that will include. What will we see when we come to this event? What people can expect, Donna, is Thursday uh, we'll have artists painting throughout the town. Friday that will continue as well, and Saturday. As the days progress, the artists will, will move towards the downtown. Okay? What people can do and, and are more warmly welcome to do is come and watch the artists. And not just watch them, but we're immersing ourselves then in the artistic process, looking over the artist's shoulder, hearing what they have to say about it. And again, people can, can come in to any of these sites where the artists are, and the way they can find out where the artists are is to, to go to the, the Paint the Town headquarters, which is Joni's Cafe in downtown Cranford at the corner of North Union Avenue and Alden. They'll do all their work on site. And that art will then be available for purchase. Uh, there'll be an art preview Saturday evening, and then the art will, will be for sale uh, on Sunday. Sounds like a very exciting event here in Cranford, New Jersey, June 10th through 13th. Uh, paint the Town is what it's called. Come That's and correct. paint the town. Uh, we have the artists coming in from all over and we invite the community to come in from all over as well to watch as we, as you said earlier, look over the shoulders of these artists and actually see the creative process as it's happening. It's a great opportunity for families to come of all ages and there'll be all kinds of other activities going on downtown for the families and uh, people to enjoy as well. That's right, and Donna, if people want to learn more about it, they can go to the JCS website, which is www dot jcas dot org. We're going to take a little bit of a, of a walk now and uh, see some of the artists to give us a little preview of what we're going to see at Paint the Town here in Cranford, New Jersey. This will be fun. So Bob, tell us a little bit more about how this style of painting came to be. Well, Donna, although it's always been a style of painting throughout the ages, it gained much greater prominence among professional artists and art societies in the 19th century when French painters adopted it as one of their preferred methods. Most notable, perhaps, would be the French Impressionists. However, the practice spread somewhat quickly, first to Russia and then around the world, becoming a major facet of works executed here in the United States by the American Impressionists. Let's get some uh, feedback from the artists themselves. Can you tell us what is some of the most challenging aspects of doing plein air art? Uh, I suppose for every plein air painter there's a different challenge, but uh, for me um, uh, is a sense of capturing uh, the moment, the truth, um, in terms of its color, time of day, um, 
uh, as well as the accuracy, uh, that's what really uh, are the most challenging for me. That's really fascinating. You know, Donna, some attribute social changes of the area's vital motivation behind the plein air movement. In large part, painting was previously confined to the studio with its artificial light, its lack of fresh air, and equal lack of atmosphere stimulation and inspiration. Transforming this limited environment to the outdoors opened up a limitless realm of possibilities. Illuminated by natural light and enlivened by a host of sensory experiences beyond the visual that could be conveyed via artistic style to the canvas and then transmitted, experienced, and enjoyed by the observer. In many ways, the artist needs to concentrate all of her or his sensory receivers on what lies before them. That includes sights, as well as sounds, tactile perceptions, even weather and mood. Clearly, Bob, there are substantial benefits to the movement, but does it bring challenge as well? Fortunately, Donna, there's no apparent downside for the observer, but the movement certainly brings additional challenges to the artists. Their work is to convey those realities and sensory perceptions onto the canvas, and that's why they're the artist. Um, one of the benefits when you're painting plain air is that uh, you, you really see color in its natural setting. So when, when you're working from reference, the, the problem is you're working from an interpretation of what you see outdoors. When you're painting outdoors, you're really reacting to the way light falls on the subject, and um, you, you get a truer interpretation of what uh, what the color is. And then uh, there's an immediacy to it, so you have to find the shorthand in your brushwork to uh, interpret what you're seeing, uh, and you can't really over embellish because the light changes so quickly. While we're here getting a uh, preview of what's to come on June 10th through 13th here in Cranford, we can ask this artist, what's so special about plein air for you? What I like most about plein air painting is being able to be outdoors and experience, it, experience all the different sensations and emotions that you feel when you're in front of a, a beautiful landscape. And I want to be sensitive to that and be able to convey that in my painting. This Paint the Town event is being held in Cranford, New Jersey, June 10th through 13th. Special events will be taking place throughout that time. Bob, it certainly sounds like a very exciting event that you have planned. It will be, Donna, and everyone is invited and warmly encouraged to come to Cranford to experience this unique artistic event. Come watch over the shoulders of nationally known plein air painters as they use Cranford as their backdrop and take to, to our parks, our downtown, and our neighborhoods with their easels. Paint the Town will be held June 10th through 13th. That's a Thursday through Sunday. This free event is open to the public and an opportunity to have fun and learn about the artistic process. If you'd like more information about the event, please visit the website www.jcas.org. I'm Donna Vopel. And I'm Bob Kuhak. And we invite you to join us for this exciting event.